Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video about Disney pen trading. I have not stopped thinking about my upcoming trip to Disney in January. So I had bought new lanyards for pen trading when we go. My old lanyards were this one's Amazon Prime Student and this one is Globe University. So not exactly very Disney, not very festive. So I got me and Jake these Cheshire Cat lanyards. So I'm going to transfer our pin collection, which is like 90% my pin collection, onto these new lanyards. And I have a, written down a bunch of information about each pin so I can tell you a little bit more about it. So I'm going to start with my pins. The first pin I've got here is called Crush the Sea Turtle from Finding Nemo. His original price is $6.50. His original release date was in 2004. The highest price I found for him online was $40.50. The lowest price was $7.99. So the average price that I found was $18.86. So if he was $6.50 to start with, you could make about like 12 extra bucks off of this pen. And part of that is like, it's kind of an older pen. I think this is the oldest pen that I have. So I'm just gonna pop him on my new lanyard. It'll be right up close to the buckle. I'm just gonna punch them through. I have all of the Mickey backs for my pin still, like the original ones that I got them with, except I'm missing one on one of them later. But it has two pin holes. But if anyone wants to send me more of these Mickey backs, I don't wanna buy them for myself, so I'm just, I've been living with just one pin. My next pin is this one. It's from the Designer Princess Shoe Collection, and this is obviously the Snow White Shoe. Its original price was $29.95 for the set of seven, so each one of them would have come out to $4.28 each. They were originally released in 2012. The highest price I found for just the Snow White pin was $9.95, the lowest was $1.79, and the average price was $5.32. So you can make a little extra on this one, but it's not a super profitable one. I'm going to put that one on the opposite side of Crush. Just going to pop her in there. So now they're on opposite side. Now this is the pin. I have one of the Mickeys and not the other one. This one I just leave open because um, I'm very cheap. I should probably just put an earring back on it, but it's kind of like a big peg, if you can see it. So I don't know if that would even fit. And also, I also need a bunch of earring backs. On my lanyard, I have the Mulan and Mushu pin from the Disney Best Friends collection. And on Jacob's, he has the Mowgli and Blue pin. So each of these pins were released in 2012. Their original price was $29.95 for the set of five. So each of them comes out to $5.19 originally. The highest price I found for Mulan was $22.50. The lowest price was $3.95 and the average price was $9.17. So you would make like a $4 profit on this one. Then for the Baloo and Mowgli pin, the highest price was also $22.50. I assume it was by the same seller. The lowest price was $2.79 and the average price for this one was $7.63. So you'd make about two bucks on this one as opposed to the Mulan and Mushi one. So I think I'm gonna make this side of the lanyard my like princess side. So I'm gonna put Mulan right above the Snow White shoe. And then for Jake's, this is the first pin I'm putting on Jake's. So it'll be right up close to the bottom. This lanyard actually isn't as ideally wide as it would be. So I'm gonna have to put it at kind of an angle, but I don't think he'll mind. So there we have Baloo and Mowgli, and then my princess, princess side. So then the last pin on my lanyard is this Star Wars Yoda pin. I've seen it under two different names. For all of this information, I looked on pintradingdb.com and pinpicks.com, and then I would Google the name to find out the prices that I could find on eBay and other retailers. And I saw this as both Star Wars Yoda height requirement pin and Star Wars Judge Me By My Size Yoda pin. So, however you best find it. The original price for this pin was $8.95. It seems to have been released in 2008, but I couldn't find it definite that that was true. It's just copywritten in 2008. And so the high price that I found for this one was $34.47. The low price was $9.84, and the average price was $17.94. So this one you definitely make like a $10 profit turning. So this is my last pin for now. And so I put him on top of Crush. So that's my lanyard done. And then on the bottom of my other lanyard, I had this uh, I'm Celebrating pin. It used to say graduation, but it rubbed off. 
from like rubbing around on my shirt in the heat. So I decided to put the I'm Celebrating pin on the bottom of my lanyard just because in Disney you are always celebrating, but this pin is not really worth anything because they give it to anybody who asks. But it's nice to have anyway, so I kept it on. So then we're moving on to Jake's lanyard, and we already started with his Baloo and Mowgli pin because it was part of the same collection of one of my pins. The next pin we have for him is the Scuba Club Penguin pin. I couldn't find a, an original price or a release here for this pin, which I found very odd. Um, and I could only find two for sale online. One of them was $14.99 and the other was $8. So I averaged them to be $11.50 being the average price for this guy. But if you have any more information on this little red club penguin scuba diver, let me know. But I'm going to pop him on the opposite side of Baloo and Mowgli. So that's Jake's pin so far. The next pin we have for his collection is the, the O Mickey dark green pin. It was came in a mystery pack, and I guess there's a lot of different colors that go around the outside here. This is the dark green. It was released in 2010 and the original price was $10.95. Uh, the highest price I saw for this one was $5.95. The lowest was $3. The average price was $4.48. So this one is the first pin where you actually lose money. And I think it's the only pin that's actually worth less than its original price right now. But that's okay because he's really cute. Look at him. Look at Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to pop that one on top of Baloo and Mowgli. So there he is there. And then Jake's last pin is one he bought when we were last in the parks. He's a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, so he bought himself the Kingdom Hearts Organization 13 King Mickey Mouse pin. And this one was originally released in 2012, but as of August, it was still for sale in the park. The original price for this is $7.95. The highest price I saw online was $20. The lowest was $9.99, and the average price was $15.75. So for this one, you'd make between like two and twelve dollars so that's a pretty good investment jake did a good job picking this one out for himself so i'll pop that one on top of the club penguin one and there we are now jake's lanyard is complete as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love to talk about disney i love to go to disney so if you guys want to see more disney content from me let me know and i will see if i can find anything to talk about and i'm sure that i will be able to if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a comment about your favorite Disney pins, or tell me if you hate pin trading, why you hate it. Subscribe if you want to see me talk more about the prices of things. Most of my videos are about getting free things or paying less money for things than people normally would because I love a sale and I love a sample. And obviously, <laughs> Disney is not cheap, but it's interesting to learn about how much you can make from pin trading at Disney if you do it strategically but also I have not done it strategically because some of these pins I've got I got since like the crush pin is from 2004 I was seven years old in 2004 so that was not strategy for me <laughs> but I hope you guys like this video and I hope you have a great day